It seems like most people who have a pro iPhone haven't yet figured out how to really maximize all that pro hardware. So today I wanna to share with you some really cool ways to maximize that untapped potential, starting with three amazing apps that can really push your iPhone to the limit. I wanna start off with a really exciting app called Private LLM, which I'll link up down below, which completely blows me away because it runs a local large language model or LLM, think ChatGPT, on your iPhone. And it's actually one of the rare instances where you can visually see the difference that a brand new Pro iPhone makes versus last year's model. The iPhone 15 Pro, not even the Max, absolutely blows away the 14 Pro, which is a Max. Something like ChatGPT runs in the cloud, so it's actually very easy to forget how much computing power is actually necessary to produce fast, useful results. And to run a local LLM, you need a ton of processing power and RAM and storage and good thermals. And even though the iPhone 15 Pro here has insane internals, when I run the 7B LLM model on here, it gets hot almost instantly. But mostly I'm just super impressed that it can even run a 7B LLM model. And by the way, since it's local, it's also private as well. Crazy, crazy performance, super fun to play with, which leads me into the next app. If you find yourself looking for a new hobby, can I suggest getting into understanding how to shoot and edit Apple Log footage? When you shoot in ProRes Apple Log, you can shoot some absolutely gorgeous, truly jaw-dropping footage. And this is one of the arenas where the new pros really shine because you can't shoot Apple Log on a non-pro or older iPhone. So check out Black Magic Cam if this appeals to you. It's a free app and it lets you shoot ProRes Apple Log footage in 60 frames per second, which creates files so large you literally have to hook up an external drive via USB-C just to store them. Takes a normal scene that your regular iPhone camera would shoot and just makes it look spectacular if you take the time to know how to shoot it and grade it. And here's a pro tip as you get started, knock that exposure down to like negative 1.5 or negative two, and that'll get rid of all the annoying noise that you might see otherwise in the shadows. Now pro iPhones have LiDAR scanners, advanced cameras, powerful chips, and more available optional storage. And that makes them perfectly suited to run powerful apps like Kiri Engine, which puts the power of creating NERFs or neural radiance fields right in your pocket. So if there's an object that you wanna digitally archive, or maybe you're into 3D printing, or maybe you wanna design and develop AR apps, Kiri Engine's gonna let you capture photorealistic 3D scans of real world objects and locations for digital use. Now I know at this point, almost nobody's tried Apple's Vision Pro, but this is the kind of technology that's gonna become very useful in the coming years. This app is so crazy powerful that you can construct a 3D model of something like a building, let's say, based on hundreds of pictures that you've taken or some drone shots, which makes this one of the best ways to get the most out of this very powerful camera system and sensor on the iPhone 15 Pro. Now this video is obviously geared towards helping you get the most out of a pro iPhone, but let me just quickly mention that my productivity course will help you get the most out of yourself. If you haven't heard of it yet, it's called Learning to Be Productive and it can help you achieve your goals faster, have a healthy work-life balance, and never feel behind again. Definitely a very straightforward way to help you get more out of your iPhone and other Apple devices on a very pro level. So I'll link that up down below. Now we've already covered some apps that are gonna make your pro iPhone feel more worth it this year, but what about some activities that you can try that older or non-pro iPhones just aren't gonna be able to do? Now, like I just mentioned, Apple's Vision Pro headset's gonna be coming out soon, and it's gonna let you relive memories that you've captured in 3D. But most of us aren't gonna be taking our Vision Pro with us everywhere that we go, so how are you gonna capture those memories? Well, with an iPhone, of course. If you have one of the latest pro iPhones and you're running at least iOS 17.2 or later, you're gonna be able to capture these 3D spatial videos. So once you're running 17.2 or later, you can go into your camera settings under formats and there under video capture, you'll be able to tick spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. With that enabled, when you open up the camera app and switch to video, you'll now see an Apple Vision looking icon, which will let you shoot at 1080p, 30 FPS and capture with that 3D effect. But what's nice is it also still captures in 2D. So if you wanna look at this on your Mac or iPad or iPhone, without that 3D effect, you can still do that. Now let's talk about console level gaming. This is definitely something that non-pro and older iPhones are not gonna be able to do. The new pros have USB-C ports to go along with their super powerful chips and their hardware accelerated ray tracing and their six core GPUs. And that means that gaming on an external 4K monitor is not only possible now, but approaches gaming console levels. 
Now, there's an upcoming Assassin's Creed title, which is an obvious thing to test out here. So if you have a really great display sitting around and you'd like to be able to hook up your iPhone, almost like a Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck to it and do some serious gaming, then you can probably hardly wait for this Assassin's Creed title. But even right now, you can load up something like Genshin Impact or Death Stranding, or though it's not my favorite, something like Resident Evil, pair it with an Xbox or a PlayStation controller and enjoy what could seriously be called a pro-level gaming experience. So this is one area where that new USB-C connectivity really adds something. Now, I don't think this video would be quite complete if we didn't have a mention of AR, augmented reality, which comes in very handy when it's time to measure a space. So maybe you're renovating or you're just redesigning a room. There's a great app that a lot of contractors use in their daily work called Magic Plan, which really does a good job of taking full advantage of your iPhone's pro hardware. So the cameras, the chip, the LiDAR, to unlock some really useful and detailed AR experiences. All right, let's talk a little bit about accessories. Now, I'm just kind of broadly hitting some big categories, apps, activities, accessories, etc., to give you kind of an overview so you can dip into what's actually possible to do with a pro iPhone. But if you're gonna use your pro iPhone to shoot pro video, then you're gonna need an external drive that doesn't get in your way. And I think the best solution is gonna be something like the OWC Envoy Mini, which is physically tiny, but internally massive with capacities up to one terabyte. Well, I say one terabyte as if it's massive, and I guess it is for the small size, but that recent 16 inch MacBook Pro that Apple sent me to test out only had one terabyte of storage. And wow, I tore through that so quickly. And that's because ProRes Apple Log footage just eats storage so fast. So I actually went out to the local Apple store and grabbed a two terabyte LeC drive, which I kind of just hold in my hand or let dangle off to the side. And you know what? It actually does a pretty good job. Now, on the other hand, if you're somebody who wants to take advantage of the great cameras in your Pro, but you don't want to or need to shoot in ProRes, then you might be very interested in the ShiftCam Snap Grip Starter Kit, which is a MagSafe system that gives you a better camera grip, number one, but it also has a light that has four brightness levels, but also it comes with a really useful tripod that doubles as a selfie handle. I would say that this is kind of the minimum viable setup for shooting good looking video that's gonna be published on the internet using Apple's best hardware. Now, as you saw with private LLM at the beginning of this video, there are some apps that push the iPhone to its limits and really start to make it overheat. That could be gaming, that could be shooting in ProRes. But if you wanna cool it back down, the Razer Phone Cooler Chroma, as odd as it sounds to pair something with RGB with your iPhone, because it's very non-Apple-like, is definitely the way to go. This thing is so serious that it actually requires USB-C power itself to power the cooling. Let's say you're shooting some ProRes inside on a tripod, you might get like under 10 minutes depending on your settings. But if you add the cooling in, it might boost that by maybe three times. Now, if you stuck around this far in the video, I've got a little surprise for you. I saved something that didn't really fit in any of the other categories here to share with you that I thought was really cool. It's called Tracer AI. And what it is, is an app that lets you design the interface for any app that you can dream up using AI, so you just put in your prompt and it spits out a nice design and then it'll let you export that to Xcode so you can actually get it up and running with Apple's programming language, Swift. And I think if you combine this with something like, let's say ChatGPT, then you can actually finagle without being a coder, a pretty neat app that's a single use case app that doesn't exist in the app store that nobody else even cares about, but that fits you and your workflow perfectly. And that's pretty cool. That's the ultimate version of personalizing your iPhone experience. So that's it for today's video. All this stuff's going to be linked up down in the description. I'll also link up the course down in the description if you want to get the most out of yourself. Like I said, thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.